Hey guys, so I'm doing a tray and coaster set. So I'm just starting off with a little bit of mixed epoxy. This is the Artistry Art and Tumblr epoxy. Adding some of my black pigment. We will have this on the site soon. So just taking that on the little mixing stick and like you can see, I'm just kind of adding little blobs here and there to look like leopard spots. And this is just on the dry silicone mold. Um, I did use a mold release spray before I'm doing this. And then don't worry if you drip or drizzle where you don't want it to, we can clean that up later. So same thing on the coasters. I wanted two to have kind of half spots and then the other two to just be spots in the middle. So then you're gonna let that dry. So once it was dry, I took some tweezers and just cleaned up where there was any little drips or drizzles that I didn't want in there. And I used some tape just to get up the little teeny tiny ones. So then I mixed up some more epoxy and I am using filter. It's a super fine, really beautiful kind of white silvery glitter. So we're just gonna put that inside of each spot. So just add the filter to all the spots on the tray and coasters. Then once that was dry, I'm just mixing up more epoxy. And I'm doing a thin layer of clear. I wanted these spots to kind of look raised off of my colored layer. So we're not filling up the molds, we're just doing a thin layer of clear. Then use a heat gun to really blow it out and get all the little air bubbles out. I find that a heat gun works really well with um, anytime you're doing silicone molds. A torch works great to get surface bubbles but when you're working with a little bit thicker layer in a mold like this it really helps to use a heat gun then once that was dry i mixed up more and i'm using this kind of really light blush tone pigment paste I really wanted it to be very faint, like there's not much pigment paste in there at all. Just like a hint of color. So then just adding that to the tray and coasters. Then again with the heat gun and you can see how it kind of looks not very smooth right now. And then once I'm done with the heat gun, it's just like smooth as glass. So 
then once that was dry, it was time to pop them out of the molds. And these turquoise molds are actually like little cake molds. They don't have this size for coasters or like flat round ones for coasters. So I really like these little cake ones. Then just to finish off that bottom edge where it kind of gets a little sharp, I'm just using this deburring tool that I got off of Amazon. I will link it below. Um, you just kind of run it along the sides and it kind of just smooths that down. It doesn't make it 100% smooth and even, but it works pretty well, especially since this was the back of these. Then my tray set was completely done. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.